Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to try and solve the Schrodinger's Cat Clue Box. That is made by the company ID Venture. Here's the box. And if I can find the company, there it is, ID Venture. Uh, if you look into these kinds of puzzles for yourself or maybe a friend as a gift. Um, I highly recommend checking these guys out as there are many more clue boxes, puzzle boxes on offer. If you're watching then please don't forget to like and subscribe as we have passed a hundred subs. So let's go. Okay so here we have the clue box and first of all I see some sort of cryptex kind of thing that there pulls out um, we've got these things here which clearly do pull out one by one uh, what else have we got we've got arrows we've got a symbol um, another symbol we've got these holes here with holes on the side so we've got five, symbol there, that there's got three, um, I can't read that, so let me read that one. Yeah, that one pulls out, all of these all come out, we've got different symbols here. So we have a cog, a light bulb, sun, magnet, ring, and a key. And obviously that's going to be some sort of lock. The arrows do start from here. So, yeah. There we go. First things first. It says start. So that's where we're going to go. Start with a couple of arrows. So we'll follow this around. I'm guessing all the way around. Okay. So we have a piece with three holes in. A piece with two holes in. Would surprise me if these have one, four, and five holes in. A piece with four holes. So if you look here. You've got a hole on every side and on that hole you have a little indentation. So this one here has one little indentation which would indicate to me that this piece would go into there. But it doesn't. It's not doing a lot. So if we just focus on doing that for a minute, so that there has one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't look like they want to do anything. Okay, so here's four. Four's at the top here. And it won't go in. <laughs> Why will it not go in? Something's just popped out here. This little piece popped out as I popped the stick with the four holes in. But what that means, I don't know. These here are all on shapes. You've got this funny little symbol here. This symbol on an entirely different kind of shape. Hang on. We are not too sure if you, not too sure if you can see this, but look at this here, right? So I've got this symbol. I can take that out. See this symbol here? It is on. I'm not quite sure if you can see this, but it's on the cryptex. I'll see if I can. Yeah, 
So it's on the crypt deck. So that would indicate to me that all of these symbols, which they are, are on this crypt deck. So it all corresponds with one another. But the only problem is, how do I know where to start? There's an arrow with that. It's almost like a torn bit of paper. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. See this side here, and this side here. They're like the same shape, but they're the opposite. If you know what I mean. It's almost like you could piece them together. So I wonder if, where's the opposite to this piece here? It's not that one. What I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to go from this piece to this piece. So uh, the crypt X will start with that there, if I can zoom it in for you. We'll start with that symbol followed by the crown, the boat, and then the crown. But how do I know? Which way? Mm, okay, we'll just leave that like that. Right, so we've got that one. And then it's the crown. Okay. Boat crown. And then what's the shape after that? Two square indentations. Two square indentations. Which leads me to believe there's this sign here. So we're going for the boat to the king. You're not going to see this, you're just going to have to bear with me or I will, uh, I will time lapse. Then we have two angled edges on the sides. That's the next piece, I would guess. These here. Which is the Z Z symbol. Oh yeah, it's what pieces of this piece here. The sign that looks like a dough. Wait a minute. This one? Oh, this one. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> we have it. Ting, ting, ting. Look at all these pieces. All right, so we have that out. Which now I can move these cogs. And these cogs have... No, not correct. Yeah, I can. So this cog has an R an L, a T, a P. Okay, so it has letters in it. And this side, one triangle equals zero. Just let me zoom in. This side has numbers on it. But I've done that, and I don't know what I want to do now. There is an eye. There's an eye, but I can't, can't see anything in it. Must be something to do with this eye. Look, there looks to be like there's some sort of gap underneath or some sort of layer. So you've got this top layer here and then you've got a gap where something can slide in and then you've got the bottom there. 
and I'm pretty sure I saw something in there slide past the eye. Yeah, there was something in here. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm gonna have to try and figure out what it says. It's like a lot of numbers. There's a lot of numbers and there's a triangle on it. That is so cool, like. Come back down the way. All right, so am I gonna have to get a pen? No, there's a triangle somewhere. Yeah, triangle. Five. Eight. I'm gonna write this down. Give me two seconds while I go and get a bit of paper. <coughs> I have the paper. Right. So now I'm just going to write this down. This is cool. This is the first time I've ever had to get the pen and paper out. I've not done a lot of puzzles, obviously. All right, so we've got triangle. Triangle five equals so what does that equal? Seven seven is that a three? Three zero. A five equals seven seven three zero. What A5 is, I don't know. But there's there's some more on the bottom. More numbers, okay. So now we have equals. Is that an upside down T? So something like... Something like that, an upside down T. And then we have equals. <laughs> if this makes sense to you, let me know in the comments. So on the top, we've got A5 equals 7730, but I've missed a one and a double headed arrow. And then that's it. So we've got that. So, oh my god, my foot. My foot, I got cramp. Oh, the cramp is real. The cramp is real. Right. So inside here, we have a bit of wood with some symbols and some numbers engraved on them floating about in here as you can see oh, I might be able to get a few yeah as you can see here and then boom gone so that's what's floating about in there and now I have these symbols and numbers to work out where to go but the only the only time I've seen numbers on this is on these cogs that I can spin around. Well, they're letters, sorry. That could be the upside down T. So I've got eight, seven. Yeah, so this makes sense now. I've got a double arrow head there, and I've got a double arrow head here. So now I know that this has something to do with this. So if I find a triangle on here, do these move at the same time? Yeah, they do. Okay. So if I put that on the triangle and switch it over to the other side. Ah, okay. So I've got an S. I think this is what I might have to do. An S.
And then go on the five. What's the five? It's a T equals is an A. Seven is an R. And I've got two of them. R. R. Star. 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 So that's on the top. So that's the top of what was on the wooden block. I guess we do the bottom. Equals, which is an A. The upside down T. What is that one? M. Five. Do we have a five? Five. One, two, one, two, it's a T. Right, so we have decoded this to get this using both of these. Bit of backwards and forwards going on, hence the time lapse. <laughs> um, so yes, so we've got starring amp um, mag. Hang on, so we have, looks like we've got words for one, two, that, E magnet, star, we have a ring, we have lamp, and we have E magnet. But I think we'll leave E out and just own a minute. Magnet. How does that crack on with what I am doing? Here we go. <laughs> All I've got to do is look at it. So here we have cog, the light, which would be a lamp. We have a star, we have a magnet, a ring, and a key. And we have, we have four of these, and we have four words. So I'm just gonna input these as they are on when I wrote them down. So the first one would be star. The second one is a ring. Imagine if this didn't work. The third one is lamp, which is the light bulb there. And then we have magnet, which is last. I'm pretty sure there's something that I've got to pull out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That is fantastic. Oh, and then does this piece, this piece comes out? <gasps> that is so cool. So we have the company's name there, RD Venture, and we have another company. I don't know who that is, but I will look them up. <laughs> but that's cool. Look, does this come off? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> wow. <gasps> no way. I think we solved it. I think we have actually solved it. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat rescuer. Get in. 
that was such a neat little puzzle box. Wait, one more step. So it's here, one more step. So you come up to, you scan that and you come up to, how long did it take you for the clue box? Oh, I don't know. Probably about an hour ago, so yeah. I will sort that out after I'm finished up here. Um, <laughs> that was amazing. Having to decode what was on that little plaque going through the space there to get these hit. My absolute favorite. We have joined the Cat Rescuer Club. Absolutely amazing. I feel like I should probably put this back together now. <laughs> That's so cool. To put that on my fridge. All right, so yeah. um, enjoy the time lapse of me putting this back together. There we have it, uh, it's all solved. So that is one more for the solved list. Um, yeah, if you've watched this far, I do appreciate it. And like I said earlier, we've managed to pass 100 subscribers. So if you've made it this far, don't forget to give the, the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, turn that bell on for notifications, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.